Hi, I am Jaya Kathuria, PSOC Applications Engineer at Cypress Semiconductor and I am going to walk through a quick video on creating a simple capacitive user interface design using Capsons component in PSOC Creator. What is Capsons Touch Sensing? Capsons is a technology which can detect the presence or absence of a conductive object, for example a finger. This technology is used to design simple, easy to use and low cost buttons, sliders, proximity and touchpads in various consumer and industrial applications. Let us now see what PSOC 3 and PSOC 5 offers for Capsons. PSOC Creator provides the component named Capsons underscore CSD which has pre-configured logic blocks, C library and APIs to easily build a Capsons based buttons, sliders or proximity sensors using PSOC 3 and PSOC 5 device families. The capacitive sensing method used in Creator component is Capsons Sigma Delta called CSD. Capsons component provides two ways to tune a Capsons design by using SmartSense method or manual tuning method. Let's learn what is smart sense method which is also called as auto tuning method. Smart sense is the latest capacitive sensing innovation from Cypress. The most complex stage of a capacitive user interface design is tuning. In the initial design phase, system needs to be tuned based on system conditions like noise, overlay material, overlay thickness, etc. After the system integration, if you decide to make any changes to the design such as button size, tuning needs to be repeated all over again. Finally, in the mass production, fine tuning of each module is also required due to process variation of PCBs. SmartSense features in Capsons component incorporates a unique auto-tuning algorithm to tune the design by component itself. Auto-tuning significantly reduces the design cycle time by eliminating the tuning process throughout the entire product development cycle from prototype to mass production. Let's start creating the project using PSOC Creator. Let's make a simple application with two Capsons buttons and display the button on-off status on the character LCD. The design will use SmartSense feature of Capsons component and tuning of buttons will be automatically done by component itself. The project will be tested on PSOC development kit. This is the top design window of PSOC creator project where you place and interconnect components. You can see all the components here. Under Capsons folder notice there are two versions of Capsons components. Capsons component version 1.3 supports PSOC 3 ES2 silicon and Capsons underscore CSD version 2.1 supports PSOC 3 ES3 and production silicon. Let us select and place the Capsons underscore CSD version 2.1 component onto the top design. This component needs to be configured based on number of buttons, sliders or proximity sensors required for the design. To open the configuration window of the component, double click on the component. This dialog has several tabs to guide you through the process of setting up Capsons component. We are currently in general tab. The first parameter to set is tuning method. Auto tuning is used in this project so the SmartSense algorithm will set the component parameters. So let's select auto tuning as the tuning method. Number of channels. PSOC 3 and PSOC 5 devices have resources to scan two sensors simultaneously. By selecting number of channels as 1, the sensors are scanned one at a time and when it is set to 2, two sensors will be scanned at a time. If the number of sensors in the application is more than 20, it is best to use two channels. In this example, we are using just two buttons. So let's set it to 1. Raw Data Noise Filter the filter should be used in applications where noise is significantly high. Only one filter can be selected and it is applied to all the sensors. As this example is designed for PSOC development kit, the noise level is low, hence the filter is not required. Waterproofing and detection. As we are not designing a waterproofing design with this example, this feature is not used in this project. Scan clock. This is the clock to the Capsons component and can be between 3 to 24 MHz. Higher clock leads to better sensor performance. Using higher clock frequency also increases power consumption. Let's select 24 MHz for this example. Widgets configuration tab allows user to add different widgets such as buttons, sliders, proximity sensors. Let's add two Capsons buttons for our example. Click on buttons, widgets and click on add button. As we are using auto-tuning, 
All the parameters for the captions button such as finger threshold, noise threshold will be set by auto tuning algorithm except the debounce parameter. Debounce parameter adds a debounce counter to the sensor's active transition to remove glitches and high frequency noise. For this example, I am setting it as 1 to make the button sensing faster. Similarly, add button 2 and configure the debounce value to 1. Scan order tab sets the order in which the widgets will be scanned. You can move the widgets up and down in this tab to change the scan order. Sensitivity, the parameter sensitivity allows user to increase or decrease the signal strength of a capacitive sensor. There are four sensitivity levels where level 1 provides maximum signal strength. Start the design with level 4 and reduce it in steps if the signal strength is inadequate. For this example, let's set it to 4. Advanced tab provides additional parameters to give design flexibility. These parameters are left as default in this project. Refer to Capson CST component datasheet provided with the component for detailed explanation of different parameters. Tuner helper tab is used to set the I2C communication which sends the Capson's parameters and results via I2C for the user to monitor. This is not used in the project, so let's disable it. This completes the Capson's component configuration. Click OK to finish the configuration. For display of data, let us place corrector LCD component, leave it to default configuration and rename it to LCD. Now we need to assign the pins for Capson's buttons, CMOT and LCD. Open .cydwr from workspace. Under pins tab, you can see all the used IOs. Assign pins one by one. This project is tested on PSOC development kit where Capsons buttons is hardwired to P05 and P06 and LCD to P2 pins. So let's select the same. PSOC 3 processor module has CMOD capacitor connected to pin P27. Let's connect CMOD to P27. Leave other tabs to default configuration. Now we need to build the project. Build process generates all the files associated with the components used in the project. Now it is time to write the code in main.c. Component provides predefined functions referred to as APIs available in corresponding .c files. For details of all the APIs of the component, you can refer the component datasheet. We need to enable global interrupt as Capson's component has predefined code in the interrupt service routine. Now component needs to be initialized first using start APIs. This API will scan and sets the baseline for all the sensors. This API scans sensor or pair of sensors within the enable widgets. In this example, this API will enable scans for two Capson's buttons used in the design. This section of code will display the string B1 and B2 for button 0 and button 1 respectively in the design. Wait till the scan is complete. Once scanning is complete, this API will update baseline for both enabled captions buttons used in the design. Check if the button 0 or button 1 is active or non-active. Depending upon the button status, display on or off on the LCD. Let us now do the final build. Program the chip from debug program menu. Let's test the project on PSOC development DBK. Touch Capsons button B1 and notice the B1 as on on LCD. Now let's touch button 2 and see the B2 status displayed as on. This demonstrates how simple it is to use Capsons component and create PSOC creator projects. For more details on using captions in PSOC 3 and PSOC 5, refer to code example document and project. Thanks for watching the video.